Welcome back to the Valley today. It is just about to turn 620. Kamala Harris may be getting closer to making her official pick for a VP running mate. Sources say that the Harris campaign has now requested vetting materials from Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and several others, including Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, and Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorham heard from Governor Walz and has more. Several names are reportedly at the top of a short list for a potential running mate for Kamala Harris, and it appears one Minnesota connection could be one appointment away from the November election. Governor Tim Walz is reportedly one of at least five Democrats being considered for the role. And Tuesday, he spoke publicly about the situation with the media. At an unrelated press event Tuesday, Walls weighed in on his involvement in VP talks. He was vague, saying only that he'd had a conversation with Harris in which he'd expressed his support for her campaign. Walls could be a popular pick among Minnesota voters. The governor won a second term in the 2022 election by six percentage points. Many see Minnesota as a battleground state this year, so appointing Walls as running mate could bolster the odds of a Democratic win in the state. Walls was careful not to spill any details, keeping his conversation with the VP close to his chest. I'm not going to talk about the specifics that we're in on that, and um, at this point in time, uh, we're just going to leave it at that. So we stand. You can't say if you're going to any materials. No, I aren't going to say anything further at this time, I think. I'm focusing on the job here. I was doing this. Walls did commend Harris for her track record, specifically mentioning a visit to a Minneapolis Planned Parenthood in March and the conversation they both had there. There's only a couple of weeks left until the Democratic National Convention, and it's clear we'll be getting a VP pick sometime soon. Whether it's Walls or one of the other names on the list, the governor of Minnesota appears to at least be in consideration for the role. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. If Wells were on the winning ticket in November, he'd be forced to resign from his office after the election, and that would make Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan the new governor. Well, straight ahead on the Valley today, we'll break down what families are planning to spend on back-to-school shopping this year.